Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your bills. Now we're going to take a look at Equinox today. It's a powerful frame. You not only do you have a powerful damaging frame, but you have a very powerful support frame all built into one warframe. Of course, you can go with one build and switch between the two, or you can go with a specific build that's catered to one or the other. And it's pretty amazing. You can even go and make a build just to go and boost up your allies so that they can do more damage and level up their stuff even quicker and faster. So lots of different ways you can work this build. I have three for you today. And like the rest of my new builds, I'm going with no Aurora Polarity builds, so it's going to take a little bit more form than normal, but well worth it so that you can use any Aurora that your heart so desires. So with this frame, of course, it starts off with a check mark and a triangle, so you're going to add in another two dashes, a check mark and another check mark. You're going to throw in a double dash for the power drift and remove the aurora polarity so you got six form of build right there now this particular build you got max efficiency a little bit of duration to offset the negative side effect from fleeting expertise and transient fortitude so that your energy per second isn't going to be a f draining much energy at all because with any other just like any other toggleable ability your efficiency counts for casting the initial ability, and then after that, both duration and efficiency are both a factor in how much energy it takes. And of course, we're wanting to do crazy damage to the entire map for massive crowds, survival, defense, you name it. So we're going to go with max range and throw in a decent bit of power strength in there. You don't need a crazy amount, but want to of course we always want to have a, as much as we can while having those other stats up there so we got intensify transient fortitude power drift and that gets us up there now for this one if i'm going into a grenier mission of course going to throw in cross projection or going into the void of course you can throw in other ones as you see fit now for this one you could go and throw on energy conversion you got enough form on it it's got enough room swap that out fits great you just have to make absolutely sure you grab an energy orb every mission otherwise you're losing out an extra 30 percent that you could have had guaranteed with intensify otherwise if you're adamant about getting that extra 20 percent more power strength getting those energy orbs on you great on you there you go I like to just keep it easy most of the time and I'll go with intensify that way I can turn it on and off without having to worry about those energy orbs for this particular build. Makes life simpler. Now for when I go out with some of my buddies, I wanna you know, I wanna they got a damage frame, it's able to do some decent damage, but they don't quite have it leveled up all the way, and I wanna speed level them up. I got a booster build just for that. Got over anything over 200% gets you your max of 80% power strength bonus to their frames with that peaceful provocation brings 40 double that you got 80 doesn't go up any more than that and I go with max range so that way I cover a good portion of the map no matter where they run off to they're still getting that bonus throw on prime flow that way the more abilities being used I'm still able to cater to that and keep them supplied with that without having it turn off of course with peaceful ferocious you got to kill some enemies get that boost brought up there but works very very well and you know since you got prime flow on there not only to keep that ability going but have a little bit more survivability throw on quick thinking does great since you got no Aurora player, you can throw on whatever you want. Enemy radar is kind of nice. See where the enemies are. Kind of point your allies in the right direction. Hey, you know, over here or there. But that's all personal preference. Anyways, and one of my newest favorite builds is my night build here. Now, you want to go and have the slow effect of Nova. You want to have the damage reduction of Equinox. 
and here this build we have both with peaceful for Vulcan. you slow down the enemies you reduce the damage done once you go and proc that growing power proc the energy conversion you're getting up to 185 percent power strength you have max range so you're covering a good portion of the ground slowing down the enemies coming in and reducing their damage by like 83 percent within 10 meters and a roughly about 40 percent at about 40 meters out so the closer they get the less damage they will do and the slower they get and they're slowed all the way down to 74 percent which is right there up with nova which nova gets 75 percent slowed so you're doing really good with this build only downside with this compared to the nova is peaceful revocation you got to take damage or your allies have to take damage in order to build up that slow amount in order to get up there so as we're nova it's immediately right then and there so it's great to go with both too if you want to experiment play around with that that's loads of fun not only that but because you got a bit of duration you got a good amount of range and you got efficiency you can spam your other abilities like rest you can throw that out there pins them all down to the ground real nice and uh, you need to heal up your allies real quick you turn on your ultimate for like a split second pull in damage your allies are doing dish out that healing wave heals up the shields their health works great and even with those stats it still works very well for not only boosting because you're with a hundred and eighty five percent you're able to get up to 74 percent power strength bonus to your, all your allies around you that within that max range and you're able to do some pretty decent damage with that day form as well with this build so this works great for both i particularly use this one more for night as where my configuration a has a little bit more guaranteed damage with that uh, 140 uh, and I don't have to worry about energy orbs and with that energy efficiency being a little lower means I can't really spam it quite as much with the day form which is I tend to do but hope you guys enjoyed that build as much as I do and until next time keep those formers cooking